Good evening everybody, System Chalk here with the 42nd episode of Cult of Simulator, the Bright Young Thing Legacy, playing as David Ellison. And based on my guess for this episode, we are now out of the holiday periods, everybody's got their time off, and I'm going to be enjoying the next probably four months of very grey weather with no holidays. I need to find work in a different city. Um, but we do have Cult of Simulator, and we're now in the year where we can look forward to Book of Hours. Um, but for the meantime, let us continue the story of David Ellison. Uh, we've got seven funds. <clears throat> so really at this point, it's just a matter of waiting for the Percussigant to become available. There are other people that I could send on the different expeditions, but for this time, I think I'll, I'll settle for... Um, I'll settle for uh, for the one percuss again, and, and I'll just bring different followers. Um, Study-wise, I think I was going to be moving on to the account of Kanishk at the Spider's Door. So Lok Kali, Kanishk's victim and lover, wrote this account, perhaps posthumously. <laughs> there we go. Kanishk sought to become a name. In pursuit of that end, he made Lok Kali the vessel of his appetites, promising Lok that they would ascend together. At the Spider's Door, he betrayed his lover. And again, we keep the explorer verb open because in about 11 seconds, hopefully, um, we will uh, we'll have someone to bring along on the expedition. Now, given that there is a season of despair coming up, it's possible that we may lose the. Um, it's possible that we may wind up losing the. Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, we may lose the. Uh, like, it'll generate a dread which will immediately go into the into the uh the the event uh best i can really do in that case is generate a contentment but that's not that hard to get uh in fact i have a pleasant memory which i could um, open to uh to deal with it anyways first the thump the thump the rattle and cry of the ceremonies it attends in the wood now here it is shouldering its way through the world's skin like a clawed and ruthless uncle or a headless flapping bear Trembling airs are from the um, from the previous percussigant, which we used as part of the summoning. Although in this case, I'll probably use them for inspiration, given that uh, we probably we're probably due for a season of sickness uh, sooner rather than later. Anyways, let's move on to the Kuznetsov endowment. Prince Kuznetsov gave one fourth of his blood-soaked fortune to the establishment of a department for eschatology at this provincial university. The staff have grown peculiar now, and the buildings fester in a freezing swamp, but some of Kuznetsov's bequest, perhaps, was spent on treasures. So I'm pretty sure Forge would uh, help us through the swamp, um, but Lantern might as well. So at this point, a seer is pretty much just a use once and and you're done sort of a character, so I'll probably wind up including them if I don't have something like a Caligine. Uh, the journey to the endowment uh, buildings is not long, but the ground is difficult. We have sent three times for permission to visit and received a less friendly answer each time. No doubt the staff will attempt to forbid our entry, so this also means that I will want to make sure I have some moth followers. <clears throat> we can work that all out later, though. pay for the paints this time around, given that we're still trying to get rid of the staleness. Breaking, entering, returning. In cellars and attics, in secret compartments and sealed closets, the rich and not-so-rich conceal their treasures. Alright, the expedition continues. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I could add funds now, or I could send another follower. So here we've got a hidden door, lantern or knock, uh, treacherous ground, pits and kegs and sudden tumbles. The earth here cannot be trusted. We will need strong hands or clear sight, forge or lantern, and finally watchers. Mortals, perhaps even ordinary, uh, perhaps even ordinary mortals, but quite a number of them. They can be fought, seduced, or deceived. So we'll start by adding Yzabeth, then we'll add Sylvia, <clears throat> and that uh, then we'll add some money, and that should settle uh, settle the expedition for us. All that I am is here. Okay. Well, I mean, if I wanted to end things, we've got the splendor right right now. But let's go to the red church. A lot of fascination for my trouble. 
Oh, right, so we don't get to read the text because it automatically gets picked up. And Kanishk at the spider's door. The Chiliarch listened to the betrayal and then forced Kanishk into his service. The Chiliarch cannot be denied. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lokali remained to write this work and to describe the outer magics of struggle and conquest. So an operation of the Labite, which is the third that we have of that. Okay, so actually Dread would have been helpful in this case, but the fleeting reminiscence will go into the fascination um, before, before too long. Unfortunately, we don't have... Um, we're sort of stuck in terms of what we can what we can accomplish without more work. So let's think about whatever upgrades we can do. I think Lantern makes a lot of sense to move up. So if we move on the formula concursit, this will require erudition. Um, it will require... Am I still in the temporary headquarters? I should work on that. Um, sanctuary, open soul, or... I can't remember which one I went for. Okay, so I've got an open soul. That's good. Okay, yeah, so Rarefied Mind, Open Soul, and an Erudition, all of which we have. So let's start by moving up the formula concursive. Study the glorious lore. There is a proverb among practitioners of the invisible arts. Glory visits the house without walls. I would like to know about glory. Dreamwise, I gotta repair the mirror first. Okay, Season of Sickness coming up. My recent work has attracted a couple of callers. With luck, something will sell. So more mystique. A lot of contentment. So let's think about what I want to do next. Oh, my followers returned with their haul. So we got a jumble notoriety. Uh, we did get one fun, so that's nice. We also have some notoriety for the time that I want to... Uh, for the time that I want to uh, start painting with my reputation again. That's coming sooner than we think, but for now... Let's do the Moth Commission. The main reason for doing the Moth Commission is that'll give us an Iron Spintra for our reserves. Uh, Dreamwise, we don't have that much to do. Talkwise, let's start by repairing the mirror. So we'll begin to repair this, but it will take at least a Bronze Spintra to purchase the necessary materials. And call upon the Watchman who navigates. So again, we want to add the Moth followers first, then we'll add the money, and then we kind of just let the let the expedition run on autopilot. Into the night. Wisdom is a country, and these are its maps. Kind of hope the erudition hits first, because if it doesn't, then it's a waste of time. The earth is hungry. A promising root reveals itself as a sucking snare. We'll have to go around and try again. So that's not so good for the funding. But we'll, again, we do our best with what we've got. Okay. This is a puzzle with missing pieces. I might find those pieces in odd corners of scholarship. Cloud's part. The wolf despair prowls elsewhere. Okay. So, manuscript's done got the sickness, but we'll be able to handle that. Uh, I have my passion back, so let's get the painting finished. And this one will do a painting. Let's do a painting about the pleasant memory. Those memories would have been lost to the earth below us, and now they will live on. And dreamwise, we're just going to hold off. Follower is at work of the mirror. So... Yezebet fell. So let's bring Porter back in. We're going to have to have a chat with Yezebet to uh, make sure they don't perish. Mirrors are calm. The sun is steady. The glory recedes. I'm saying if that means anything. The fascination dries your vision. So it's over for now. Their wounds have, are, sorry, their wounds are grievous. Heal a fallen follower with time. spend money on better paints, or I could find more exotic pigments. It's kind of tempting to pay for the paints, but I'm going to hold fast. The mirror is repaired. It shines again as it did once before. Alright. 
So first things first, let's heal up Yzebet. If nothing else, if we get caught again, I want to make sure that I'm, uh, that I'm covering what we need. We don't have an unlimited number of uh, moth followers. Call upon the watchmen who navigate, so here we'll add the funds. We need to add two funds now, I believe. something special, it may provoke a reaction. I'm hoping because we need money for paints. Excellent. My recent work is considered notable. I've exhibited the latest paintings publicly. Surely someone will buy something. And I believe... Nope, we're just short of the... the fourth notoriety. This illness has damaged my health. I will need to rest before I'm fully recovered. Cure your affliction with funds or vitality. So we will use that vitality right away. All I need now is time. And a paradoxical resolution. So for that, I need an open soul. Now that's going to stop me from painting. I didn't really think about the consequences of that. Um, this is a dangerous game I'm playing with the passion. I prefer that to avoiding the painting. You never know, this might be a living. We'll get rid of the restlessness. We're mud spattered and thorn scratched, but we made it through. This time we will spend for the paints. Aha, is that it? You have resolved a paradoxical challenge. The half glimpse whisperness has touched me with the restlessness, so I mean with luck we won't have another uh, we won't have another um, Sorry, what am I trying to say? Yeah, with luck we won't have another um, staleness, uh, but I can use this to get rid of the staleness right away. And Yuzabet now has an edge and a Nox scar. So you notice that I've been a little more comfortable leaving, uh, letting people get wounds, and this is just trying to embrace a change that was added in the game quite some time ago, uh, which was the scars. Did I forget to heal Saliba? Shame on me. Expedition continues. Okay. Jesus. If this ever reaches trial, I will be in serious danger. Even if this hunter is disposed of, another may find their notes. Okay. We have a season of ardors coming up. Recent work is celebrated. My name is known and my work has done well. So I am going to need to get rid of the mystique. Or sorry, I'm going to need to get rid of the evidence uh, quite soon. But obviously we want to wait the eight seconds for the staleness. There's a lot on my plate. Um, okay, we've got the expedition. I think I needed some more money on that first. Cat Caro is currently occupied. Restlessness, and finally, we need um, this challenge with, that with missing pieces. I might find those pieces in the odd corners of scholarship. Uh, so, fascination or the rarefied mind. We'll add the rarefied mind. And we have gotten past the sickness. Okay, so we're ready to go back to the peacock store. The peacock store reflects the mirror I hold in my sleep, and the mirror reflects the peacock's door. Already a sensuous shiver ripples its surface, it aches for fracture, and when it finds that satisfaction, I will enter. Some days are better than others, sometimes the sky is nothing like a filthy sheet, sometimes the river runs clear. Against the watchers, a powerful deception. Look closer, closer. Keep looking, closer still, and I'll close your eyes. Okay, another season of sickness, I may want to uh, do some fresh air and exercise. Won't pay for the paints because we're trying to trying to get rid of the staleness. Should probably turn in the commission sooner rather than later. 
doesn't hurt to get the, um, the wound is healed, but this one came very close to death. Silence has touched them like snow. Okay, he's about to do us the honors, please. My scheme will most likely succeed. There's always a chance that something will go awry. Watchers' confusion. Their bewilderment is our opportunity. We will pass in silent secrecy. So we don't. I don't have too much uh, in terms of expectations for the painting. So I suspect that we will get rid of the one, the one staleness, but not both. The recent work has attracted a couple of callers. With luck, something will sell. I'm not crazy about that fascination, but it's not going to hurt us yet. So now's a good time to do commissions while I'm waiting. And we should still be able to use this in a painting when the time comes. Okay, so uh, let's do the lantern commission. It's kind of on brand. It's gonna be useful for a commission. At some point, I do also want to get uh, someone else for the um, for the uh, uh, for the marks. Okay. Favor from authorities—a nice um, security to have, I suppose. Each uh, of the stained glass windows, excuse me, of the red church is devoted to a distinct appetite, and the scenes they, excuse me, the scenes they show are from life. Last night, in one of the uglier windows, I saw the appetites a certain public figure satisfied in private. I know he won't want this information made public. Perhaps he will show me some consideration. So we need to repair that at some point. Um, let's just leave the rest for now. I'm a little surprised I don't have more notoriety for all my efforts. We're in the um, too many indie games getting onto the storefront phase of my, my painting career. All right, I've increased my mastery of the glorious lore, which we call by its aspect lantern. Also, we didn't have to sacrifice the passion, which is nice. I was a bit worried about that. So we've got the mantra of ascent. The ascent of knives is the bloodiest of the watchman's tests. Those who pass it and are dead enter the service of the sun and rags. Those living who pass it are a little closer to the glory. Okay, study-wise, what do I want to do? Well, first of all, I want to get the fresh air and exercise. Um, a half glimpse of wistfulness has touched me, so I've got a minute before we need to worry about the restlessness. Again, I want to be provoking things that are... Uh, so I want to be doing things that will provoke notoriety, um, but that's kind of already going to happen because I'm going to look for more food for the, the marks. And we call upon the watchman who illuminates. We'll almost certainly find this hidden door. My minion has returned, stumbling, mumbly, clumsily bandaged. They were caught in the coils of their own plan. All right, so um, for starters, I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna turn in the commission. We still have money, so I'll be able to heal Yzabeth again, but this is not Yzabeth's day. I finished the manuscripts. Receive the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. Actually, maybe I'll just do that with um, Dr. Redeem as well. Okay, still painting away the... Uh, I seem to have jostled this too low at some point. Anyways, uh, okay. <clears throat> what am I trying to do? Um, we are clearing out the last of the saleness, so we'll be getting some money again. We're okay on the expedition unless we don't get past the door, then we're gonna need some more money. We're going to need to heal Yizabat at some point, and then I will dream with the vitality that I get from studying. Okay, this illness has damaged my health. I will need to rest before I am fully recovered. 
and we have a season of visions coming up so I also need to find a way of getting rid of that fascination although I may just have to get hit by it because I've got a number of things that I'm trying to do I've received the currency of the secret world and my patron has let tantalizing information slip okay so spent for a good iron um we talk with these events to heal them Perhaps now they'll survive, but there are limits to what the human body can sustain. Yeah, I think probably the fascination is going to be... I think we're just going to get hit by the fascination, if I'm completely honest. I don't really see a way that I can make that work and still handle all the other obligations I have. I've neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. All right. We're going to dream about the affliction to get rid of that. <clears throat> Study-wise, um, I mean, one thing I theoretically could do, uh, just as a, an aside, if you study the fascination, it is an influence, right? So it might be possible with the right combination of influences to raise more power, remembering, of course, that it's moth. So if you didn't know, um, you could just also take a look here. But unfortunately, I don't have the lantern or the moth influence to be able to uh, to move it up. But that is, uh, I don't think I've ever talked about it, but that is another way of dealing with fascination. Either way, though, uh, we're going to get hit by it this time, and I just kind of need to, need to get over it. Uh, let's move ahead. Actually, sorry, there should be some kind of study that I can do. I've got glimmering and erudition. Um, so the best I could do would be the centipede testament. Centipede would want... Okay, so I might lose reason. Glimmering. And a rarefied mind. So that's a possibility. Formula vigilant probably would need health. Yeah. Or I work on forbidden epics. So erudition, glimmering. You know what, let's start with the Forbidden Epic. It's not the most exciting choice that I could make, but it doesn't take up uh, like the open soul, which I kind of need. History is less certain than we are taught. I can learn from the study of its blurred edges. And we pass the door, so. Faint lines in stone, a surface that yields to pressure. We found it. The hidden door moves with a grating shudder and a shower of dust. The recent work has gone unnoticed. Nothing is sold. Perhaps the work is its own reward. I hope so. So good for, I mean, glimmerings for the secret history, I suppose, but not so good for our cash situation. Uh, so... There is one other option I have with this fascination. Actually, I don't think I can pull it off. Yeah, I think I need a little grail in that. Nope, that works. Huh. Okay. Uh, grail for the raw profit source and a little moth for its chaos addiction. So that does tie up the... it does tie up my... Oh, hang on, this got rid of the staleness. What am I doing? That was a good source of money I just threw away. Oh, well. The wound is healed, but this one came very close to death. Silence has touched them like snow. Elizabeth's looking very scarred. I pretty much have to get rid of the, uh, the evidence at this point, so we will... Pick up the damning evidence. My scheme will most likely succeed, but there's always a chance that something will go awry. Now, we do have the favor of, uh, from authority, so in an emergency, we were still covered, but this is definitely a more dangerous situation than I've had to deal with before. Sick room grows close and still. Time to get up. Just trying to think if there's something with Dream that I can do at the moment, but I think we're just going to leave it be. Okay, they want erudition first. We still have the glimmering, so we should be fine. This is a puzzle with missing pieces. I may find those pieces in odd corners of scholarship. 
World's End. The library ceiling collapsed years ago. Many of the books have been reduced to swollen pulp by dripping water. Something must remain. A portrait of a genially smiling man. Dark skin, bright eyes, neither hair nor eyebrows watches over the ruined library. It is titled Don't Mind Me and signed with an indecipherable serpentine scrawl. The paint is peeling. It watches us with its benevolent smile as we find intact treasures among the swollen books on the shelves. So we have the Silver Book, uh, which is in language we can translate. The Burning Watchman, so we still don't have Frisian. On Matthias and Amethyst Imago Pursuit, the Encircling Tantra, the Known Unknown Tantra. Some of these are duplicates from before. The Iron Book. And my powers. So we don't have the money to go on another expedition right now. Um, I could... I think we'll just send the Percussigant out to explore. Well, well sorry, actually I, sh I shouldn't have done that. I should have gone to Auraflams. So it's going to be Street Strange by Moonlight. And a Rebellious Spirit. So that, I think we just use our reason to dismiss it. No need to no need to play with the the, um, the Raw Prophet. And let's say... Yeah, we go to Oriflams and we start selling some Spindra. This curiosity will earn you some funds. Sell with caution. There's no way to get it back. Okay, they've got the damning uh, or the uh, notoriety right away, so I await word. The minion has returned. The evidence has been destroyed. I am a little safer. All right, so he's a bet, uh, makes a mockery of Wakefield's investigation. Let's move on. Um, Need money, so normally I'd be talking with the Percussigant. Okay, there's two things I'm gonna do. Let's uh, talk with Dr. Adim first. Place behind desire. Is there something to be learned from the satisfaction of desire? That is from the Raw Prophet. So in this case, I'm gonna do a painting of the Percussigant using my reputation. This isn't that great. Um, but it preserves the Percussigant. Uh, the biggest worry that I have here is that I'm not really using that much... Um, I'm not really using that much reputation. And I do need to get a... Um, I do need to get another body soon. Considering a uh, converting clues to evidence, if the hunter has found notoriety, they will use it to create or upgrade evidence. If they're meticulous, they'll always succeed. If they're erratic, they're more likely to fail. But they can occasionally create evidence even without notoriety. Of course, we know in the case of Wakefield, they will always produce evidence. All right, let's. I think I'm going to get an extra body. It's not necessary, um, but I I probably want to. It also potentially gets me money. So let's send Saliba out again, and then we can then we can worry about repairing the mirror. A sufficiently persuasive disciple can probably lure a susceptible companion back to us. Let's get the pin ring in there. It's not going to make uh, make a difference, but well, it's expiring soon. I don't think we'll have the money in time. Oh yes, I do. for that it looks like so we'll spend the money again i'm not expecting as much because i'm not as using as much notoriety but uh i've at least got something should probably be selling some more damn it i forgot to put the object in my recent work is celebrated. My name is known and my work has done well. Okay, so we can use the passion right away. And because I'm going to be attending an auction, I might as well use the percuss again. I still won't have four. Well, actually, I'll have the fourth notoriety from the, um, from the abduction, so that works. Now I understand. 
understand. Now, the secret history we get isn't really going to be... Like, it's not something that we really need right now, but it's the first path towards uh, the next... Uh, towards something that we do, we do need. I'm certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere, with their solicitor, with their superior, or even with a contact in the press. This is troubling. So a little bit like the last time, we won't deal with tentative evidence right away, I just have other things. And the auction is over, the lot has gone elsewhere, I retain my funds. So five funds isn't great. Um, we should get a little something from the painting. Um, but yeah, in this case, I think... I, I think we'll go we'll go straight to the next expedition. All that I am is here. I've increased my knowledge of the secret histories behind the one we know. So that's the unresolved ambiguity. Again, we'll upgrade forbidden epics into unresolved ambiguities. Sort of same story with forgotten chronicles, but that's not going to be enough to move things up. Anyways, we'll 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 sort it out, but it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a long journey, and obviously translations are a little more important right now. So right now we've got the silver book, and actually I'll start reading that in the next episode just so I can keep all the text together. So um, lots of wounds. <laughs> um, but Isabet did come through in the end. Uh, we're we still could be a little more financially secure, but I think we're on a path. We're probably on a more sustainable path than we've been in the last little while. I didn't get as much upgraded as I wanted, but it is nice to have the uh, the higher lantern lore. Uh, we did have a situation where if I wanted, I would maybe be able to squeak out the a. Um, a victory. One of the other ways of getting the high level of, in this case, lantern required uh, is there are the, um, what is it, the intercalate. Um, that right uh, gives you an extra block um, to put something in, so it, that's definitely helpful, but I do not believe it is required for the uh, for the ascension. So in this case here, I've got a pretty good little, little setup in terms of achieving that, but I might as well have some, some fun with it. In any case, we will deal with all of that in future episodes. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with, uh, that should be Thursday's episode. And so two more left in this week, and we will be moving into Fox Lily Meadows, as well as reading some of the books that we picked up from the Kuznetsov Endowment. Until then, take care.